Photofrism versus iMitch versus Nextcloud versus File Run best photo management tool. So here's a detailed comparison for all these tools. The four top contested for self-hosted photo management in 2025. So managing your photo collection locally while keeping full control over privacy and storage is easier than ever thanks to these open, powerful source and self-hosted tools. But there isn't really a specific uh, best tool because there's always um, a preparation for someone and what they're comfortable with and what works best for you. So breaking it down, starting with Photo Frism. So an AI photo archivist. So this is best for power users, archivists, photographers, and is an advanced photo library manager that uses machine learning to automatically organize and tag your images. It offers deep search, face and object recognition, and integrates well with NAS setups. Now going to the pros and cons for Photo Frism. For the pros, it has a powerful AI tagging, excellent filtering and metadata search, raw and video-like support, and work Works well with large photo libraries, but for its cons, it does require a heavier system, no native mobile apps, and the setup can be a bit complex for beginners. But other than that, let's just go ahead and move on to the next tool, which is iMitch. So iMitch is gaining traction as the top Google Photos replacement. It's built for mobile, offers native apps, face grouping, and fast uploads with a modern UI that feels snappy and polished. This is best for families, mobile users, and casual photographers. For its pros, uh, it does have the iOS and Android apps with real-time backup, sleek UI with timeline view, fast and lightweight, and an active development with strong community but as for its cons it does its ai features that's still catching up to photofrism uh, less flexible for desktop based workflows and lacks granular search and deep metadata filtering but next over here in our list is file run now file run over here is a minimalist file manager with a nice photo viewer built in. It doesn't aim to be a smart photo organizer, but does a great job displaying and browsing photos quickly and clearly. This is best for simplicity and direct file browsing. Now going to its pros, it is super lightweight and fast, a built-in photo review and XIF display, easy to deploy and manage. But for its cons, there is no tagging, AI or facial recognition. There's no mobile apps or advanced photo features and not built specifically for photo workflows. But more on the, uh, its final verdict later, we'll be moving on to the next cloud photos. Now, next of photos is best for users already in the next cloud system or ecosystem. Nextcloud is a photo gallery app built into the Nextcloud platform. So while it's not as feature-rich as Photofrism or iMitch, it integrates seamlessly with Nextcloud files and offers basic photo viewing and albums. For its pros, it's easy to use for existing Nextcloud users, private, self-hosted cloud storage, and easy sharing and album creation. For its cons, the basic photo management, so this means no AI and tagging slow performance with large libraries so it's gonna be fine with the small ones of course and not great for photography enthusiasts but anyways for the final verdict of all of these tools if you want deep ai tagging and make this a search because again there is no uh, really a specific tool that is the best of the best there is a pro for each of them and there are cons for each of them so again if you want deep ai tagging and make today's a search then photo frism over here is best for you if you want a seamless mobile upload and modern ui then iMitch is the one that you should be choosing if you want an all-in-one cloud with file syncing, then File Run will be a great choice for you. And finally, if you want simple photo access and file browsing, then if you want all-in-one cloud with file syncing, then Nextcloud over here is great for you. And finally, if you want a simple photo access and file browsing tool, then File Run should be 
best for you. So again, there isn't really a specific tool that will be specified as the best of the best. It really much depends on the user, what they're flexible with, what they're more comfortable with, and what they ultimately prefer. So hopefully this video does help you. And if it does, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And that's all. Thank you.